I don't agree to this and I take strict objection to uh, the manner in which Manipur is burning and uh, you are saying that these were optics. Might I remind you that in 19, uh, no. 1966, let me finish please. Yeah, let finish, me your point, finish your point, yes. Yes, yes, yes. thank you. In 1966, it was the Mizo National Front uh, rebels that had taken over ISOL, and that is the reason why the Indian Air Force, our brave forces, was sent to uh, Mizoram. The Mizo National Front rebels ran for their lives, and we saved Mizoram. Hmm. So when uh, uh, lies are being peddled, especially by ministers, they should be ashamed of themselves. Hmm. When we talk about Manipur, Manipur is burning, and what did the... Uh, the naked king too, he stands ex exposed. He jeered, he laughed, he mocked, he made fun of the people of Manipur. He made fun of our sisters when he spoke for two hours, 13 minutes and he's, he gave a mere three to four minutes to the uh, people of Manipur, to our no, sisters Sujata of Manipur. Ji, uh, allow me an interjection here. How is it that the Prime Minister made fun of Manipur? I substantiate that argument I'll if you're making that argument. Absolutely, yeah. I will. Uh, in his speech of 2 hours 13 minutes, huh. if you noticed, he was attacking the opposition. That is his nature. That is his standard operating procedure. So that's perfectly fine. But yesterday was not the day for making fun of the opposition. At the moment, the opposition, disgusted by his men and women cheering him on, clapping when we were talking about Manipur, we kept calling him out, kept asking him to speak on Manipur. He refused to speak, right? And when the opposition staged a walkout, he immediately came to Manipur. And if you notice his body language in that fraction of a second, he was taken aback. He didn't expect 